snowball. Hey Tom, okay, so we're at um, 1041, there's Colin again. 1041 on 20th Street Southeast. It's actually a dead end street, so that's nice. No sidewalk, but since it's a dead end street, you don't have any through traffic. Um, the houses are kind of up. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the houses are kind of up from the from the uh, from the street. Um, it looks like there was probably a tree here at one time, and so you see where the stump was ground down. Looks like this street lost some trees due to the derecho. So we're actually having some weather uh, this afternoon. We're hoping it doesn't turn into a derecho. So uh, real nice, clean house though. I mean very very cute uh single lady lives here she's actually inside we uh we were here she was trying to get in so uh we aren't going to be too long but i'll walk you through all right Colin, look out okay so here's the entryway you got this nice red door with the some fantastic glass work there okay and then you just got go this way go that way coat closet and then into this really nice living room. It's a really nice, uh, good sized living room. You got this wonderful arch, which is just a nice charming feature. And then you've got your dining area over there, but it really feels it's one large living space. So you can also see that we've got some uh, newer windows. So that's always a good sign right there. Also got a bit of a cove ceiling, which is very popular. People really like that in these, uh, in the older homes. Some nice arches. This one is an arch with that one, and then the one entrance to the kitchen. So, so I'm gonna walk you down the hallway here. So we got this nice hallway. It's a little narrow, but not too bad. We got some nice built-ins with drawers, and then pretty basic uh, bathroom. Shower looks great. It's in good shape. You got a vent here. And you do have a vent fan, so that's always good. Everything looks really nice here. Let's roll them back down. All right, and then we've got bedroom here. This one's a little bit bigger. So you've got you could fit a queen bed right there. Fit that should fit just fine. You'd still have room for a nightstand. And then we've got a closet. So not a big closet, but it does go back a little bit. Well, no, actually it doesn't. So not a huge closet, but with a dresser, you'd probably be just fine. We got another closet here, just a hallway closet. And that one does go back a little ways. Okay, and I'm just coming into the other room, just your kind of spare bedroom over here. And it's just a nice little bedroom. The closet. The uh, light fixtures all look pretty good. So we're gonna kinda keep on going. We're gonna go through here, back through. Let's not open that column, we're in there. Okay, we're gonna go back to the kitchen. She's got this nice bay window over here. You're okay. Got a nice bay window here. It's gonna bring in a lot of um, some nice sun in the evening. It's a little bit cloudy right now. But... And then the kitchen is great because it's it's small, but it's it's not a galley. You got plenty of counter space. Got some counter space here, and you got a nice smaller gas uh, stove that's pretty narrow, but should work okay for you. And then some good cupboard space. All right, and then we're gonna go downstairs. Here's the um, out to the backyard, and we'll do that last. Okay, come on, going downstairs. This basement feels great. And what I mean by that is there is no, I don't feel any or sense any moisture at all. So the thing that's really nice about this house versus the house this morning, this has a poured foundation versus the block foundation that we were seeing um, in the other house. So it's a poured foundation. So you're gonna have much less of a chance of any bowing and also much less of a chance of any uh, moisture. So, it's a nice big space and you could really do whatever you wanted. You could probably finish this out if you wanted to, but also, I mean, it already has, it's got a 
stained or painted floor. She's got a nice area rug there. I, I could hang out down here without really needing to finish it. It'd be a great hangout, uh, hangout basement. So, um, so you have storage back here and then you got your furnace, water heater and everything over there. And then we also have another space for storage over here. And again, everything just feels really dry. This is a very, I really like this house a lot. It's nice and cozy. Colin, come on. All right, so we're just going back upstairs. We're going to go outside and that'll be it for the tour. The what? The top lock. What's the name? Deadbolt. Deadbolt. Deadbolt, yep. Very, very nice yard. You got some landscaping. Colin's showing you how big it is with his twirling. You do have fence all around. None of the fencing is yours, but if you put a fence from the garage, from the garage to the house, then you'd be able to shut everything off. So, and then you're gonna love this because, so you see, those houses way over there these are incredibly deep lots they're incredibly deep lots and so those lot lines on those houses go all the way up to this fence so you're never gonna have anything back here I mean it's just a really really nice I really I actually really like this one a lot Tom. I like this better than the other one Roof looks good. I haven't looked at the property disclosure yet. <laughs> Might be missing some ridge vent up there. I can't tell. And then let's just look here. There you go. Thank you. She opened up the garage door for us. So it is a single stall, but it's an oversized. So there is like another, like what? Probably four, four feet um, space over on this side. That's cool. And Colin likes that thing. Um, looks like it's in really good shape. If you look at the rafters here, everything looks pretty good. Feels good. The pad has a little crack here, but it's not too bad. And then you've got your driveway, so. All right, well, that is it. Um, I think this house has got some real potential. I mean, I really like this one a lot. You have to let me know if there's any glaring things that you don't like about it, because this, this one might be a winner for us. So, all right, we'll talk to you later.